More than half of all alcohol-related fatalities occur in single vehicle crashes. Traffic crashes are the greatest single cause of death for people between 5 and 34 years of age. Don't become a drunk driving statistic. Don't drink and drive. This is CBS. Coming up next on Action 2 News at 10, concerned citizens gather to learn more about the health crisis of the 80s. And we'll talk with area Christians to see what they think about the recent scandal at the PTL Religious Network. George Graffa says there is some precipitation in the forecast. It is not rain. And Bill Jarts has all of tonight's sports. All next on Action 2 News at 10. The Iacocca calls it the best-known brand name in the world. Jeep, always an unbeatable value, never better than now at Van Boxtel, where Jeep Wranglers start at just $10,694 or $236 a month. Comanche pickups, $72.95, $157 a month. Popular Jeep Cherokees from $13,595 or $295 a month. And luxurious Grand Wagoneers at original factory invoice. 50 to choose from, all prices reduced. Where? Where else? Van Boxtel Ford, AMC, Jeep Renault, and Van Boxtel RV Center, Green Bay. If you've been waiting for the right boat to come along, now's the time to see your Mariner dealer. Get a basic fishing rig, no payment for 90 days, as low as $75 a month. Or a deluxe fishing rig, no payment for 90 days, as low as $120 a month. Or a sporty runabout, no payment for 90 days, as low as $180 a month. Get your weekend off the ground. See your Mariner dealer. Anchor Marine Appleton, Norton's Dry Dock Princeton, and SNS Marine Shawano. We're celebrating the grand opening of the brand new Stump Pontiac in Appleton. We're celebrating at every Stump dealership on every line of cars and trucks we sell with great prices on new Pontiacs, like a special selection of Grand Am Sport Coupes, priced at only $99.95 delivered, and 3-9 financing and cash rebates to $1,200, or a select group of 6,000s with air for under $12,000. It's your chance to save during the grand opening celebration going on this week at Stump Pontiac, 1303 West Wisconsin Avenue in Appleton. This is TV2, WBAY-TV, Green Bay. Now, the latest from Northeast Wisconsin's news leader with Tom Zalaski, George Graffis with weather, and Bill Jarts with sports. This is Action 2 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Tom Zalaski. A warning tonight about a ruthless killer who stalks its prey without regard to age or sex. It's rapidly earning the reputation as the health crisis of the 20th century. It is acquired immune deficiency syndrome, AIDS. It's also no longer just a gay problem. Healthcare professionals from around the state gathered in Green Bay today for the first ever AIDS conference in Wisconsin. Figures show that right now in Northeast Wisconsin, there are as many as 1,300 people infected with the AIDS virus. By 1991, there you see it, the figure could jump to 7,100. Health professionals warn that anyone who is sexually active runs the risk of getting that disease. And tonight, one of the first of its kind, a public forum on AIDS was held in Green Bay, and Mike Bartley was there. Mike. Tom, there have been in the past what are called informational seminars on AIDS, but those seminars were for certain segments of society, namely the high-risk groups in danger of contracting AIDS. But tonight the information was for everybody who's worried about what is called the public health challenge of our lifetime. Lesson number one tonight from the State Department of Health is that AIDS is everybody's problem. These two young women of college age don't think of themselves as being in a high-risk group now, but they're afraid they could be in the future, and that's why they're here. It's spreading so rapidly, but someday I'm going to have kids, and I'm going to be afraid for my kids too, not just myself, but my kids also. As some articles have said that I've been reading lately, it's just like the plague, and nobody knows what causes it. Healthcare professionals say it's unfortunate that this room isn't filled tonight, but they say that because of intensive media coverage about AIDS, people may think they have adequate information about the disease and need not come and ask questions publicly. Franciscan brother Ben Johnson runs the Milwaukee AIDS Project. I think because they're not here, we should not say that people are not concerned about the issue of AIDS. And the most important thing is to get in contact with a community agency uh, that's dealing with the AIDS issue. Try and find out as much as possible about AIDS, about the way it's transmitted. Um, contact health professionals who are in the know. Again, despite tonight's low turnout, Nancy Kaufman of the Wisconsin Division of Health 
says tonight's forum is still an encouraging sign that people are interested in fighting and beating and preventing this killer disease, Tom. All right, Mike, thanks very much. Now, of course, there is no cure for AIDS right now, but scientists say they are willing to take personal risks to find a cure, but the government won't let them. At the National Institutes of Health Forum, one foreign doctor says he's already begun injecting himself with an experimental vaccine, and there's word that an American doctor is also about to try it. Other doctors say they're ready to begin such tests in about a week, if only the government would approve it. Those at the meeting say there are 40 volunteers and two dozen companies waiting for approval. Feminists tonight are hailing today's affirmative action ruling by the U.S. Supreme Court. The high court ruled that businesses can hire and promote women even if a man is more qualified for that job. The justices ruled that employers may give the women special preference to create a more balanced workforce. People in Fond du Lac are having a Harry Q week, and everybody is glad for it. The Harry has nothing to do with being frazzled. Rather, it's to call attention to Harry Quadrachi, the head of Quad Graphics. The Chamber of Commerce decided to have a Harry week as Fond du Lac is among the finalist cities where the firm will build a new plant. Included in Harry week is posting signs in windows and honking horns at designated times of the day. The firm will announce which city will get the new plant within three weeks. Some people are calling it Pearly Gate the sex, money, and power scandal that has hit television evangelism. Today, new developments. PTL Club President Jim Baker, who stepped down in the midst of allegations of an affair and blackmail, reportedly is going to try to regain control from caretaker Jerry Falwell. Falwell says that wouldn't be a good idea right now when the secretary Baker was accused of being involved with isn't talking, and things could change at a meeting tomorrow. We may all resign tomorrow. We may walk in there and find it's untenable, yeah. unsolvable, uh, that our presence is not going to provide anything positive and, and therefore no need for us to stay. Falwell says whatever happens at tomorrow's meeting, it's important that the PTL club not be allowed to collapse. Now, local pastors of Assembly of God churches say that while they're upset over what happened to Jim Baker, the church will survive. Live from our Fox Valley Bureau, Jerry Burke says local pastors believe the scandal will not hurt recruiting new parishioners. Jerry. Well, Tom, the local clergy of the Assembly of God is very careful in what they say about televangelists like Baker. While they say that the TV clergy types have helped certain faiths such as the Assembly of God to become highly visible, they claim the local churches can and perhaps do better without the televangelists. The clergy and members of local Assembly of God parishes are not avoiding talking about what has happened to Jim Baker. True to their beliefs, in times of strife they are turning to the Bible. They are also forgiving. But the local clergy say they have no fear of backlash towards them because of what's happened to the man who did head the PTL club. I think that our local church has its uh, own integrity. As a local pastor, I feel that my reputation is based upon what I do here in my own local community, rather than on a, what happens on a television program. However, uh, people do ask questions, and it does create uh, some question in people's minds. Bouchard says local Assembly of God parishes have not been hurt by people donating money to the televangelists. However, he says some of those donations may now begin to remain local, and none of the local clergy feels what's happened to Baker will cause attendance to drop. They're coming to our churches because uh, they have been invited by local people. And finally, the local clergy feel it is nothing but a coincidence that the Baker scandal should surface at the same time that Oral Roberts is being criticized for his fundraising tactics. Tom? All right, Jerry, thanks very much. Still ahead on tonight's Action 2 News at 10, a surprising turn of events in a Manitowoc County courtroom concerning accused murderer David Carlson. And have we hit the low point in our weather, or will things get better? He's the strongest 132-pound high school kid in the state. And later we'll tell you about some dancers who are having to learn to dance all over again. Action 2 News is brought to you in part by your neighborhood True Value Hardware Store. Get the latest fashions for bed and bath at Shopco's White Sale. A rainbow of colors. Everything from towels to tank sets. Save on beautiful bath towels by Canon and Lady Pepperell, just $249 to $349. Match them up with coordinating tank sets and rugs, just $299 to $899 in all your favorite colors. For great sale prices on everything for your bed and bath, come on into Shopco's White Sale now. Say hello to a goodbye at Shopco. 
If you're a homeowner, First Financial has help for you. Our Home Equity Loan Line with the exclusive plus, the Gold MasterCard that lets you use your line of credit just about anywhere, anytime. So you can conveniently help yourself to $100 or thousands. No other home equity credit line in Wisconsin offers you this plus. And for a limited time, First Financial's help costs nothing to get. Apply for help today. First Financial, first to make banking work for you. When your grandparents built this farm, they took advantage of every modern convenience. Why, back then, even a barn cleaner was new technology. But you know, things are different now. You need to keep up on the latest equipment and technology. This year, Wisconsin Public Service is presenting an expanded Farm Materials Handling Expo at the Brown County Arena. It's your chance to see what's new and talk with people who understand your business. The Farm Materials Handling Expo. Admission is free. Now at the Chrysler Plymouth Savings Sign. Get financing as low as 3.7% or up to $1,500 cash back on most new cars. 3.7 financing and 600 cash back on Plymouth Reliant or choose 900 cash back. Get 3.7 or 1,000 back on Chrysler New Yorker. 1,500 back on LeBaron GTS Premium. All with Chrysler's new 7-year, 70,000-mile protection plan. See your dealer for great savings on other cars, too. See your Northeastern Wisconsin Chrysler Plymouth dealer today. Convicted killer David Carlson is beginning a life prison sentence tonight. He stunned a Manitowoc County courtroom today by admitting he killed a Two Rivers school teacher. The 25-year-old Carlson was scheduled to, a to appear for a motions hearing in court today. Prior to that, he gave the judge a letter stating he wanted to change his plea to guilty. In the letter, Carlson said he wanted to spare the family and friends of victim Wayne Colby, the grief of having to relive the events surrounding Colby's death. Carlson killed Colby in the school teacher's home in Two Rivers on the night of October the 15th. Authorities are calling it the biggest opium bust in the state of Wisconsin. A Hmong couple is facing drug charges in Wausau. Authorities confiscated 28 grams of opium last week that was shipped in, uh, shipped in from Laos. Police say dogs apparently sniffed out the drug in Chicago. The U.S. Customs Service turned the opium over to Milwaukee postal inspectors who delivered it to the Wausau home. Police say the drug has a street value of $28,000. Plans to build a new prison in Waupon have been stopped even before they've begun. The State Building Commission today rejected Governor Tommy Thompson's request for preliminary planning of the new prison. Those who objected say the state shouldn't spend $40,000 on such a study when the state hasn't even decided to build another prison in addition to the new one being built in Racine County. The city of New York has come up with a unique idea to relieve jail overcrowding. 162 male prisoners will be held on this ferry boat. The former Staten Island Ferry was renovated for its new prison role at a cost of $4.4 million. Prison officials say the inmates will be low-risk prisoners nearing the end of their sentences. Some 28 corrections officers will patrol the decks. The floating prison will be permanently docked at Rikers Island between Queens and Manhattan. Well, the rains finally came, and George Graffles will be along next to let us know just how long the rainy skies will be staying around. Come back here. Jimmy needs glasses. When your family needs eyewear, the Optical Center at Shopco helps you keep an eye on costs. Shopco strives to have the lowest prices on quality prescription lenses and fashion frames. How? Shopco takes less markup. Your family gets more affordable glasses or contact lenses. For low prices and professional service on quality prescription eyewear for your family, you know the right place. Shopco. If there's something missing from your home workshop, check out the latest basics from True Value Hardware Stores. This master mechanic self-igniting torch with propane is only $21.99. The skill cordless screwdriver recharges in its own base, and it's just $19.99. Locate hidden wall studs with a zircon stud sensor, only $13.99. And the rugged tote more tote tray from Plano offers lots of storage room. It's only $4.99 at participating True Value Hardware Stores. At last, an ultra-lightweight cream that firms like a heavyweight. Estee Lauder Skin Perfecting Cream with Firmex. Scientific tests show it can make your skin measurably more elastic, measurably firmer, measurably smoother in just two weeks. And it's so lightweight, you'll hardly feel it on. Until you see how perfectly it works. 
Estee Lauder Skin Perfecting Cream, now at Prangie's. Your Toyota dealer, Spring Fever Sales event, is raising the temperature with hot dealing on every Toyota in stock. From the all-new Toyota Camry to roomy passenger vans, they want to deal right now. On the lowest price Toyota, the economical for sell EZ. Hurry in while the dealing's hot. Dealer incentives on the exciting FX16 could save you hundreds more. Your Toyota dealer Spring Fever sales event is on now. So come on over and catch Toyota Fever. Make your deal today. Think that's what it's like? <laughs> I don't know. A cheap piece of meat. No, no, no. It's not really good. It's not really bad. We're talking about his forecast yeah. here. It's kind of mixed. The weather. Yeah. Yeah. It, well, you can be the judge, okay? All right. So you can, you yeah, can tell it to them and then let them decide. Right. Let's begin, shall we? And we should start, and we will start, indeed, with the... Uh, the current conditions, it is 41 degrees at the moment. The, uh, the dew point is 41 degrees. That puts the relative humidity right about as high as it can go, 100%. Barometric pressure is rising to 9.58 inches, and the wind's uh, not very strong at all, only three miles per hour out of the south. Today's high and low temperature, a 47, a, a 41, and we have had uh, 31 hundredths of an inch of precipitation. All right, here is the United States just as we remember it right here. Uh, low overcast overhead encircling the uh, expiring uh, tortoise-like uh, sluggard of a low pressure system as it kind of just moves across the central part of Wisconsin right here. Uh, let's go below all of this. We'll watch digital radar and you can see right now this blue which indicates a very light precipitation. In fact, it's generally a, a drizzle right now and uh, all of this for us should stay liquid tonight. And I say that because, first of all, we've got a lot of cloud cover to help us uh, keep whatever warmth we have uh, with us throughout the nighttime hours, a little bit of wind. And the only cooling that is coming in on some uh, northerly winds later on is just a, a breath, a hint of cooling. And so the, really the only chance for maybe any flurries would be north and west of, uh, of Green Bay on toward morning. Unseasonably warm weather in uh, the uh, northeastern United States already, or I should say already, still in the 40s as far north as northern Maine at this hour. They had a record high 60s all over Maine earlier today. Again, here is our low pressure system and it will be leaving us uh, tonight and tomorrow and kind of leave us in the hands of this very feeble high pressure ridge to our west. It's going to have a real difficult time breaking up the cloud cover that we have over us right now uh, for tomorrow. It just won't meet with very much success. There may be some breaks, but generally speaking, it will still be a mostly cloudy day. By the way, the extremes across the nation today, 85 degrees Lakeland, Florida was the uh, low and Yellowstone Park three below zero this morning for the uh, the other extreme. So that's the pattern or the uh, the scenario for our weather as far as tonight and tomorrow. Our current temperatures right now, upper 30s in places like Superior, along the uh, shore of Lake Superior up here, and also around Sturgeon Bay with 38 degrees. It is 44 degrees right now in Fond du Lac with about only, well, 15 hundredths of an inch of rain since the whole thing began. 44 out also in Oshkosh and 41 in Manitowoc. 44 are very common also in Sheboygan for the uh, current temperature. Here's the forecast we start with tonight. Occasional light uh, rain, perhaps even uh, some fog at times mixed in with that drizzle. And the low temperature, a mild, oh, 36 to 42 degrees. Tomorrow, the high, about 39 to 45, mostly cloudy. Maybe some morning flurries, uh, mainly in the north, but that's not real uh, likely, just possible. Northwesterly winds. Tomorrow night, partly to mostly cloudy, 30 to 35. Now, Friday and Saturday still generally cloudy, and on Sunday early, a chance for either rain or snow. Temperatures will be cooler than uh, normal. We'll have very, very little in the way of sunshine, and it looks like we'll have a, a generally a, a cooler trend, I think, maybe through the middle part of next week. Not cold, but just cooler than what we've been. Not a bad piece of meat. No, a little no. A1 or something would help it, that but you know, that's, that's it's not bad. Oh, that's Tender, tenderizer yeah. there. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. George. A hostage drama over tonight in El Salvador. That tops our status report. An army deserter and a female companion held thousands of teachers and students hostage at a school throughout most of the day. Late this afternoon, the two let their hostages go and gave themselves up. The two are suspected of killing two police officers earlier in the day. No word if the two are political dissidents or just outlaws. An urban horror in Pennsylvania is over tonight. Three nude women found chained to a sewer pipe in the basement of a row house. Also, they found body parts in the kitchen. Police were alerted to the situation by a fourth woman who escaped. The body of another woman was found buried in a remote section of New Jersey, and the captive women say that at least two others may have been killed. 
The owner of the row house tonight is charged with murder, rape, and kidnapping. And the arrest of a second embassy guard suspected of spying has U.S. officials going over security arrangements at the embassy in Moscow. The Marine Corps says that the Marine Corporal uh, worked guard duty at the same time as Sergeant Clayton Lone Tree, who has already been charged with espionage. When we come back, Bill Jarts tells us about a Kimberly teen who's flexing his muscles at a state powerlifting meet. Sable's got the shape everybody wants to be in. And now that shape is even more affordable with 3.9 APR financing or $400 cash back. There's 3.9 plus up to $600 cash back on Mercury Topaz, Lynx, and Mercour XR4TI. Factory to dealer incentives may mean big savings on six cylinder Cougars too. Save now at your Lincoln Mercury Mercour dealer. Light up the path to your door and save during Menard's spring sale. Outdoor lighting is on sale now, including modern and colonial post lights and our dazzling selection of solid brass lanterns. Save on colonial coach lights, too, like this rust-proof Guardian coach light on sale now for just $12.88. Plus, you could win a Dodge Dakota S mid-size pickup. Register free during Menard's spring sale. We're helping you build America's heart the event car lovers have been waiting all winter for. They're off to All Cars Spring Speed Sale. Thrush Turbo Mufflers, $9.95 each. Alliance Cam and Lifter Kit, $119.95. Excel Super Stock Plug Wipe, 7mm, $10.99, 8mm, $19.99 a set. White 15 by 7 or 8 inch wheels, $24.95. Chrome, $35.95. All performance and custom lines marked down now at All Cars Spring Speed Sale at the best automotive stores in Wisconsin. How low can you go? Ever since Pick and Save invented low pricing, others have tried to get as low as us. Unfortunately, their selection went down. With others, their level of service dropped. Still others fell short on quality and friendliness. But at Pick and Save, we've kept our prices low without sacrificing a high degree of quality, selection, service, and friendliness. And that puts us head and shoulders above the rest. <laughs> Pick and Save. When it comes to price, we're talking low. Big announcement today out of the Packer offices. The writing was on the wall today. It came saying it was probably better off for both sides to go separate ways. The Packers today publicly admitted that James Lofton is on the trading block. The team's all-time leading receiver will not wear a Packer uniform next season, according to Executive Vice President of Football Operations Tom Bratz. The Packers face two problems in trying to deal Lofton. One, by letting the league know they'd like to get rid of him, his value drops a bit. And two, Lofton faces a May 18th trial for an alleged sexual assault. Well, the trial date of May 18th makes it an awkward situation because it's in between a mini camp and your regular camp. And uh, naturally, any team is going to have a condition in this trade that uh, he's going to be able to report during the regular training camp. Otherwise, whatever you trade for is going to be off. Does that preclude the possibility then of trading for draft choices this year? It doesn't preclude it, but it does put you in a situation where as an example, if you traded for a, a six-round draft choice in this year's draft and you went ahead and used it, and then he didn't report, well, then you'd owe years back next year. He's still one of the top, you know, top receivers in the NFL. There's no question about that. He's a great athlete, and he's a, a very well-conditioned athlete, and I think I'll leave that to, you know, to, to Mr. Broad and the various people he's talking to to determine what, what fair value is. If there's an attractive deal, I think they'll evaluate it seriously. But I don't think they're looking to, you know, to give James Lofton away. The 49ers and the Raiders, among others, have expressed interest in acquiring Lofton. The Badger football players enjoyed, if that's possible, their second day of spring football practice today. The W in Camp Randall stands for wet, I think. The players will work Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday for five weeks, getting used to the new Veer offense and new defensive twists being put in by coach Don Morton. Don't like the term Morton era. I think Badger football, Wisconsin football, is so much more than, than one person. There's so much that goes into a football program, and this is it's it's the players. It's 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 the it's their their time, and uh, we're just excited to be a big part of it. Now, unless you're a wrestler, it can be really hard to excel in a high school sport if you happen to weigh about 130 pounds. But Paul Daniel has the story of a state champion who weighs about that much and never has to worry about getting sand kicked in his face at the beach. 
At about 5'7 and 132 pounds, Todd Hammond is not the kind of guy you'd want to kick sand in his face. And this past weekend, the Kimberly Junior showed the state just how good he is in powerlifting. In Cedarburg, he lifted 320 pounds in the squat, 175 in the bench, and 395 in the dead to win the 132-pound class. Usually, like, it's mostly always seniors that take it, and I'm only a junior this year. So I was pretty amazed that I did that well. I didn't think I'd do nearly as good as I did. Showing the older guys up, huh? Yeah. Todd would not have even dreamt this could happen a couple of years ago. He was into bodybuilding, not powerlifting. And yes, there is a difference. Bodybuilding go way a lot faster. Like powerlifting, once you have it, it'll always be with you. For, you know, even after a while after you stop, you'll still have it. But bodybuilding, your body will shrink if you stop lifting like that after a while. Unlike team sports like football and basketball, a powerlifter has to do it all on his own. You just got to, like, enjoy what you're doing. If you like lifting and stuff, I, you know, I, I always just like lifting, no matter, you know, if it helped me or not. It just something to spend time on. Cedarburg is probably not considered a hot spot for weekend getaways, but Todd Hammond's weekend was an uplifting experience. Paul Daniel, Action 2 Sports, Kimberly. The Bucks are struggling right now after pounding the Knicks last night. Tonight they lose to Indiana, 125-108. Terry Cummings with 21 points to lead the Bucks. The Brewers send six to the Miners today. Brad Kaminsk, Brian Clutterbuck, Jay Aldrich, Mark Knutson, Steve Kiefer, and Garrett Nago. On the field today, the Indians beat Milwaukee 8-4. And I've got to tell you, Erica Hilbert rolled a 748 series tonight at New London Lanes. That's a New London record. She beat her husband, uh, Terry. He only had a 722. I've done that before. Seven games. Right. <laughs> we'll be right back with the story of a ballet company that has discovered why a lot of people like to wear their sneakers. places for me, home in Wisconsin and the wild UP, no matter who you are, a little hard work will take you far, quality plus, Ford and you, we put a lot of pride in the things we do, when only the best will do, quality plus, Ford and you. Spring is here, just in time for your savings to blossom at Mills Fleet Farm. Save during our Spring Spectacular on a super selection of timely items in all departments. Improve your catch with the Eagle Z5000 multi-range fish locator with digital readout for just $237.99. This rugged, easy-handling radio steel wheelbarrow is perfect for outdoor chores now at only $27.95. And a 50 cartridge container of Federal 22 caliber Spitfire shells is just $0.99. Cents. Check Fleet Farm Circular for even more specials. Then come see your savings grow now during the Spring Spectacular at Mills Fleet Farm. Stein, Wisconsin's largest gift and garden centers, now open in Oshkosh and opening soon in Appleton. Choose from acres of hardy trees, bushes and shrubs, thousands of flower and vegetable plants, all the national brand lawn care products, a huge selection of gifts imported from around the world, thousands of pots and baskets in every color, shape and size. Stein, Wisconsin's largest gift and garden centers, now open in Oshkosh and opening soon in Appleton. <laughs> Now's the time to make a smart move on a new Olds because Oldsmobile now offers new 3.9 annual percentage rate GMAC financing on every Delta 88, Cutlass Sierra, Cutlass Supreme, Olds Calais, and Forenza. 3.9%. That's smart. Or get as much as $1,200 cash back direct from Olds depending on the options you buy. That's smart too. The choice is yours no matter how you look at it. You're going to save money on a brand new Olds. Now that's the smartest move of all. Get more value with the old 660 powertrain warranty at the Olds Reliable. Tomorrow, a piece of American history will be on display in Appleton. The Magna Carta, this is the real thing, written 762 years ago, is one of several documents touring the country in a traveling exhibit. And we'll have the story tomorrow on Action 2 News at 6. George Gravis now with a weather update for us. All right, occasional drizzle tonight. Also, the chance of maybe a few flurries toward morning, uh, mainly north and west of, of Green Bay. And the highs tomorrow, you know what they're going to be? 46. No. Uh, 39 to 45, <laughs> but you were close. <laughs> Don't ask me. Thank you, George. Finally tonight, we take you to the ballet in Louisville, Kentucky. 
but this is ballet like you've never seen it before. Usually, ballet dancers wear those point shoes, those little slippers. But these dancers are pirouetting in pairs of tennis shoes. They've been rehearsing this way for four weeks, and they do the actual show in these less than dainty foot ornaments. Why? Well, they're comfortable. Secondly, the ballet is called Concerto in Dog. And with a name like that, the composer said they needed some unclassy footwear. Concerto in Dog, only in Louisville, Kentucky. That is our report of Action 2 News. Thank you for watching. It should have been a horse. Have a good evening. <laughs> Cleveland. Cleveland. <laughs> Action 2 News has been brought to you in part by your Northeastern Wisconsin Chrysler Plymouth dealers. Has a wife accused her husband of homosexuality to cover up her own adultery? Find out on the next session of Divorce Court. Divorce Court, Thursday at 4 p.m. Tomorrow.